Hey and welcome to Tutorial to You. My name is Yannick and in this video we want to talk about the trim method which you can use with every string in C sharp. So here I got an absurd string, right? We have a lot of white spaces and if we want to get rid of the white spaces at the front and at the back so that the string is well formatted nicely we simply can say string trimmed equals to string dot trim. So if we simply put that trimmed right here now into the console, console right line and hit start, we can see that all the white spaces are gone. Now this is definitely something that you want to use for any kind of user input. So if we just imagine that we prompt the user to enter a name, let's just do that real quick. We simply say uh, console right line again, let's say enter your name like that. Now we give the user the possibility to write down his name, let's say console read line, right? There's a white space, too much, we cannot trim that one. Now in that case, if we do it like this, we could go ahead, start the application and say enter your name and let's say Yannick and then add a lot of white spaces or at the beginning add a white space, something like that. And then we will process that string, including all of the white spaces. And that does make sense. We don't want to save it into a database like that or whatever. We want to go ahead and we want to for sure trim it. So let's say trim equals to input dot trim again. So we trim that one and now we say console right line and then high and we simply add our trimmed string right here. Let's hit start again. So if I now write down like Yannick, there we go, we hit enter, you can see, alrighty, we got rid of all the white spaces and we can now save it into our database without any unnecessary characters. Well, that's not the only thing that you can do with trim, you can do much more and I want to show you one of the most important things you can do with it now. But before we continue, let me tell you about our C Sharp Progress Academy, which is a self-paced online course that teaches you C Sharp, ASP.NET, Angular, test-driven development and even C Sharp software design patterns. We offer a 14-day money-back guarantee and I'm absolutely sure that this is the fastest way on how you can progress as a C Sharp developer. So please go ahead, check out the link in the description below or at the top right corner, it will definitely pay off. If you haven't subscribed to our channel so far, go ahead and subscribe right now because you don't want to miss any of our upcoming C Sharp and .NET related videos that help you become a better software developer. So subscribe right now. We can not only trim any kind of white spaces that you can see right here, no, we can override that trim method by providing a character array, let's say chars equals to, let's create a new array. Let's say we have two characters that we want to trim like that one and that one. So we have the hashtag and the exclamation mark. Now, if we say enter a color code, for example, and then your color. Now we take that chars and put it into our trim method. And now he will trim those characters right here. So if we start our application now and write down our color code, so let's say we're creating white and we hit enter, you can see your color without the very first symbol because we are just cutting it away or we're trimming it away. Now one important thing to mention is if we add it just like that and then inside of the middle of a string, for example, it will stay because if we take a look at the definition right here, you can see it removes all leading and trailing occurrences. So only at the very beginning and at the very end, those chars and white spaces and all of that will get removed. And that's what you have to know about the trim method. And this method gets used in a lot of algorithms. So that's why we have covered that one here. I hope that you've learned something new. Make sure to give this video a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll be happy to see you back in the next video. Make sure to check out our C Sharp Progress Academy and have a good one.